Hello everyone with yet another video about Alder Lake undervolting. Now we have a B760M motor Wi-Fi from MSI where uh, we created a custom BIOS based on Mani 84 instructions on Reddit to include the uh, like uh, unlocked microcode revision that allows for undervolting. Now previously we were having um, performance regression when we set the minus 30 in the BIOS and we can now run up to minus 50 which is the maximum that this motherboard allows but we also running with a uh, light load one which is the other form of undervolting based on some kind of like AC load line calibration something that I really can't really understand how it worked out uh, against the undervolt protection before but it did so now we have both undervolting working and as you can see the scores are perfectly in line with the, the 12400 expected scores but we are completely passive we are running without any fan the, the temperature is not even that alarming there's nothing really <laughs> terrible uh, yeah it's like MSI really knows better as always so the maximum power draw that I set in the BIOS is 56 watts we were running at 65 degrees <laughs> and it's summer here <laughs> So I'm totally naked in, at the moment of filming. Uh, so yeah, as always, MSI really, really knows better. Um, the, to, the RAM was uh, tuned a lot. Here you can see the uh, Limpac Extreme 8GB test. And here you can see the Geekbench 6 scores, which are also amazing. Uh, we can really look for uh, the 12400... Mm -mm -mm. Give batch 6.1, give batch 6, um, 12 for 100, and you can see the average score for this CPU on Geekbench 6, and this is the average score for this CPU on Geekbench 6. So, yeah, this is like the average score on the internet for this CPU, and this is our score with undervolting and no fan running in the summer. Uh, I don't know what else to say about MSI, really, they really know the, sh the shit. Um, we'll now take a look at the voltages that I set for the memory, because I also decided to undervolt the memory as low as possible, and you can see some kind of interesting memory voltages, which are like a lot, lot lower than they would expect it to be. Like most guides on the internet about this kind of memory set those voltages to 1.3. I'm talking about the VBD2. And um, oh, here there's a lot of them, really. VDQTX 01996. Um, yeah, the memory voltage, the actual memory voltage is 1.2. The VDDQ is 1.11, 1.11. Um, so I, I'll show you, I'll show them in the BIOS now, so you can see them yourself. And um, yeah, again, most. And overclocking guides on the internet about this kind of memory set those voltages to 1.2, 1.3, 1.25, like the average memory voltages, you know. 1.25 is the usual XMP voltage for this kind of memory. This memory is rated for 135. Um, the only thing that I had to actually give up a little bit was the cast latency. So the XMP profile had 30 as the case latency and I had to set it to 34. But everything else is heavily tuned for the best performance. And again, the voltages are super duper low. Now, um, this has been like tested rock solid, uh, multiple hours of, of any kind of stress test, TM5, uh, limp back, uh, whatever, uh, white cruncher, anything. I know that, that the system agent voltage doesn't seem to actually apply, so I set it to 89, but the CPU is still running at 92, which is the normal locked system agent voltage, so apparently Intel locked the voltage on the system agents also on the way down. Uh, oh, I forgot about the lowering this. Maybe I should try this also. And so yeah, um, it is, uh, you can see an advanced CPU configuration. It's mode 1. Oh, actually, the, the, the limits are 60 and 64, but 
apparently Cinebench R23, which is an IVX2 workload, doesn't go above 57 watts. And even anything, every other test that I run was running below that threshold. So yeah, here it is. This is gonna replace um, the ASUS system on the previous video, which uh, at some point stopped working with the undervolt. It previously worked at one minus 150, and then at, at some point, randomly, maybe it was uh, some kind of like firmware microcode update from Windows Update, I guess. I hope this doesn't suffer the same fate, but I've got more, a lot more trust in MSI than I have on ASUS. So yeah, that's it. I hope you find this interesting. Uh, with this kind of results, I'm pretty sure I could run also a 12500 with this setup, just by, I mean, maybe I wouldn't get the full turbo performance because you know, uh, like every slight rise of frequency gets you a much higher um, increase in power usage at this point. So the 12500 is gonna probably use 20 watts more for a, like not, not, not real performance benefit, but the 12500 has a much better GPU. So that's why I would maybe go that way for the next kind of next builds, passive builds. Even if uh, I cannot really uh, put the stress that much on the multi-core to actually make use of the increased frequency on the multi-core section, I can still boost higher on single core and um, of course, again, get a much better iGPU. Just double check for the Limpac Extreme power usage, uh, or maybe even better, I can run um, OCCT power to like put a, the maximum stress possible. We're now running at a maximum of 558 watt, yeah, so yeah, we're, we're, we're getting there. Yeah, let's get LCD power running. So let's put this to the maximum stress that I can get. Here's a, the forum of touch power up where all this kind of information is shared. And we're trying to figure out a little bit more about the undervolting on those lockets SKUs. Because um, apparently I can run uh, on, MS, on ASUS, ASUS motherboards have the switch for the older microcode, but it only shows up with uh, 13 gen uh, locked, unlocked CPUs. But the unlock, the, the, the exploit also works for locked CPU, as you can see here. So yeah, we're now running OCCD power and the maximum is at 64 as expected. And we're running 68 degrees. And it's gonna rise now, of course. Like it's gonna eventually hit the <clears throat> the limit for the cooler. It's getting hot now, but like, I mean, that's not real world usage at all. And I guess that's all for the video.